Hello students, how are you today? I hope that you're doing fine. So once again, welcome to another video. So for today, we will be having math. Week 13, our lesson would be Unit 9, Money. So this would be the first part of our lesson. What are the things that you need? Your math student's book, math activity book, pencil, eraser, also your notebook and paper. Our objectives, at the end of this video, you should be able to recognize different coins, identify the value of each coin, and work out how to pay an exact sum using coins. References, we have Mad Student's Book, pages 192 to 193, Mad Workbook, pages 186 to 187. Now, before we start, let me ask this question. How money started? Did you know when did we start using money? Okay, so now let's watch first this video so that you will understand how do we start using money. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start. The story of money. Imagine living a long time ago, in a time without money. How about 9000 BC? Instead of money, there was swapping, also known as bartering. It worked like this. Want to swap this apple for an orange? Yes. I want a cow. You want some wheat? But there were problems with this. The items needed to be of a similar value. How about swapping this apple for that DVD? No way, that's not fair. The other problem was that many items would go rotten and so didn't keep their value and some were too heavy to even carry. It started to get even more complicated when people began using gifts like perfume, jewellery and other valuable goods. You want this perfume for that necklace? I don't like the smell of it, no. However, in China, they had started using cowrie shells as money. So instead of swapping things for other things, you could buy the things you wanted with shells. But no one in the West knew about this, because back then there was no social media, internet, TV or telephone to communicate. So what did they try in the West? They started to use items that were not perishable. Items that wouldn't break or get easily damaged. Gold. But gold was too heavy to keep on you and carry around. But what if it was a little smaller? In 200 AD, coins of precious metals were made. They were small, which made them easier to carry around. To make things even easier, the coins were weighed and stamped so everyone knew how much they were worth. People started to give their gold coins to the goldsmith to look after and keep them safe. Can you look after my gold for me please? Yes. Here's your £10 receipt. These receipts were the earliest types of banknotes. They have developed and now they are no longer linked to gold. Over time, more and more security features have been added to notes to stop them being copied, as well as getting smaller so they now fit into our pockets. Money has continued to change and in the 1950s, credit cards were invented. Cards mean that now we don't need to carry notes and coins around to pay for stuff. In recent years, with better computers and internet technology, we don't even need to be there to pay for a product. Most of the money in the world is now, in fact, invisible.
Money has come a long way over the years and it continues to change. Who knows what the future will hold? Okay, kids, did you understand our video? Okay, so according to the video, okay, during the ancient time, we did not have yet the money. Instead, we used to change or swap things in order for us to buy. So that system is called as barter or swapping. But nowadays, today in our recent time, we are already using money. Okay, so let's define what is money. So money, a current medium of exchange in the form of coins and banknotes. So I have here a picture. So this picture shows banknotes or bills. So banknotes or bills are money that are in a paper form. So they have their value like 500, 100, and 50. So on this picture, on the other picture, we will show the coins. So coins are circle and they are made up of metal. So coins has smaller value than banknotes or bills. Now, how do we use money or what are the uses of money? So first, we use money for buying goods or products such as food, when we go shopping, we buy shoes, our clothes. So we need to use money in order to purchase or in order to buy those things or stuff. Now, money is also used for payment, such as paying bills for electricity, water, mobile bills, also internet bills, and also your school tuition is paid by money so how do we use coins or why is it we need coins so coins as i mentioned before this are the form of money that has smaller va value than the bill let's say for example you're going to buy an apple so this apple costs 50 cents so you will be paying using this coin. On the other hand, let's say, for example, you want to buy a candy, a piece of candy. So a candy costs 10 cents. So you will be paying using this coin. Now look at, at the right side of my slide presentation. We have here the different coins. The first one, the color blue one. If you're going to observe, this is a one cent coin. The second one, the color red or pink. Okay, so this is a two cent coin. The third one, the color green, is a five cent coin. The next one is the yellow coin, which is ten cent coin. Well, the next one after the 10 is the 20 or 20 cent coin. And the last one is the 50 cent coin. Observe that each coin has their value. So as we mentioned, 1 cent, 2 cents, 5 cents, 10 cents, 20 cents, and 50 cents. Now let's practice. How many of each coin can you spot? Can you tell me? So let's count first the one cent coins. Can you count? 
So how many one cent coins are there in the picture? Correct, there are six one cent coins. How about two cent coins? Will you count? So what's your answer? How many two cent coins? Okay, there are three two cent coins. Did you get it correctly? Okay, how about five cent coins? Can you find the can you find how many five cent coins are there? Okay, there are three five cent coins in the picture. Did you got it correctly? Okay, how about 10 cent coins? Will you count how many 10 cent coins are there? Okay, there are four. How about 20 cent coins? Okay, how many 20 cent coins? Correct, there are five. 20 cent coins. And lastly, how many 50 cent coins? Will you start counting how many 50 cent coins are there? Okay, what's your answer? Okay, there are six 50 cent coins. Very good. Now you know how to identify the different coins together with their value. Now kids, it's activity time. So this time you will make your own coins, okay? So before you start, these are the things that you need. So you need paper, pencil, scissors, colors, or crayons, okay? So to make this activity, using paper, it can be white paper or colored papers, Make circles, then cut. Write the value for each coin. You can decorate your coins, kids. You can draw pictures or borders. Be creative in making your coins. And did you know you can use these coins in playing with your brothers or sister? Of course. But before you play with the coins, so make sure to ask your parents, so please take a photo and then send it as message in class dojo so that I can give you five additional points. Okay? So I hope that you are doing this activity. Good luck! And that's the end of our lesson. Hope that you enjoy and that you learn something from our video. So once again, kids, always stay at home and always keep safe. So see you on our next video. Thank you so much. Bye, kids.